Hello and welcome to my channel. Please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you to my day ones, twos, and threes. Thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well. Thank you so very much. I appreciate you all and welcome, welcome, welcome. This video is for entertainment and educational purposes only. So everything is alleged. Some is not in the fair act use. It's in my description box, y'all. So let's get to it, y'all. Now, word on the street is there's some information popping up. And I believe it. And I'm going to tell y'all why I believe it in a minute, okay? I'm going to show y'all some more ties, some ties to higher ups from a lot of other people that's connected to J Prince, okay? That didn't happen, you know, the same scenario that happened in other cases. All right, y'all? So we're going to go through it today. We about, we about to talk about it, okay? Um, word on the street is J Prince is a family member. Okay. Now, I don't know. I wasn't there. Okay. I don't live in Houston, but this is what I'm hearing. So I'm going to say allegedly that word on the street is he's some kin to the mayor. This is what I'm hearing. Y'all. Is this why he get away with so much stuff? Y'all. It's a serious pattern that continues to go on, not with Jay Prince, just him. It's been going on with Trap. It's been going on in, in Dallas. It's been going on in Memphis. And I'm starting to, you know, feel like this is what a lot of um, these mob guys are doing. They are getting, you know, they are mingling and tingling. Okay, y'all? With higher ups. This is why some of them support certain people that's about to run for office. Because when they get these people in office, then they helps cover up their mess when they do stuff. Okay, now it's making sense, y'all, as to why Boosie needed that million dollars. Did he need that million dollars to give to Jay Prince? To hush everything up and, you know, clear his name. Okay, y'all? Clear his name. Is this what that money was for, y'all? <laughs> y'all, every day is something new. But this is what I'm hearing. And I'm like, wow, is this something to this? So then I goes to a particular page, I think on IG. And lo and behold, you know, they're close. Now, I, it's, I don't know if they're family, but this is what I'm hearing, that they're family members. And is this why so many crimes are getting brushed under the rug and nothing is being said about it, y'all? He can do all this extorting people and everything and nobody says a thing. Let him do whatever he want him and his boys in the city of Houston, y'all. Is this why? Is Mr. Sylvester Turner the mayor of Houston, Texas, really some kin to Jay Prince, the princess, y'all. Is this why they walk around with their head all in the air like they something special, y'all? Ask yourself this question. Because it makes sense. If you don't make sense to y'all, let's go down, take a little trip down memory lane, y'all. Okay? Now, first off... <sighs> One of the princes, this was his costume for Halloween, y'all. The dead president's costume. This is what he had on his face, y'all. Okay? Do this mean something? You know, um, Goyeo, that's from Dallas, he came out with this song. And everybody say this song was wrote because of They Walk Mo 3 Down. Is there a connection? I mean, they all hang around the same people. Let's take a let's, let's, let's take a trip down member lane, okay? Because Goyeo is tied to mob ties. <laughs> He's tied to mob ties. Did they did they walk, take off down, y'all? Two people to walk them out, walk them down. On both sides. Is there a connection? Let's 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 go down memory lane, y'all. So, this is another one. 
Mo 3. Taking out in Dallas. This is Sean G. Sean G is supposed to be, allegedly, Mo 3's security guard. He'd been on house arrest ever since Mo3 got taken out. He was on the expressway when Mo3 got taken out. He was the first person that got locked up when Mo3 was taken out. And every time he posts something, he always got on a shirt called Mob to ask y'all. Okay? He's always got a shirt on. There he is. And if you look at the who liked the picture, J. Prince Jr. liked the picture, y'all. I told you they put snakes around people. And everybody plays their part, y'all. It's not far-fetched that everybody was in on this mess. Now, not only do they have mayors, commissioners, police officers that's in their back pockets. They got lawyers in their back pockets. And this is why a lot of them get off because they lawyers is allegedly advising them on what strategy strategy to take and do so that, you know, it keeps their name out of stuff and it won't come back to them. The people that's paying, you know, putting the bags on these folks' heads, y'all. Allegedly, y'all, okay? Um, this is an affiliate of Yogati. He was one of the first people that tried to take Dolph out. He got caught and he got 14 years. And this is the one that, you know, 50 Cent and a lot of other artists are saying 50 Cent that call himself going to Dallas and doing a documentary on Mo3. How are you going to do a documentary on artists when you, you know, mingling and tingling with the hitters? That's taking the artists out. Make it make sense. He promised this guy when he get out that he was going to give him a movie role or a role in his show. And if he does, I will never watch it again. I don't care how good power gets. Okay, y'all? I would never touch it with a 10-foot pole if this guy get out and he start being placed in anything that has to do with 50 Cent shows that I watch and I support. Not only will I not watch it, I will unsubscribe. You know, I will un, you know, I will contact my cable company and let them know I don't even want that channel anymore. If he gets out and get a role in one of those pictures. This is how I'm coming. Okay, y'all. Um, Look who's with this guy. Same guy that's locked up for, t- you know, trying to take Young Dolph out before they actually took him out. Look who's with them. Soldier Boy, y'all. Soldier Boy, Soldier Boy is tied to Mob Ties too, y'all. Okay. He is one of their minions too. He was the one that jumped on social media, the first one that started arguing with Young Dolph about you ain't got no, you ain't independent, you ain't this. He was told to do that, y'all. He was told to pick with him so they can have narratives all over the place and point fingers at this person did it. Did Soldier Boy set him up? Did Soldier Boy pay for the hit? Did da 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 da? No, this 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 has to do with a lot of people that's in the same circle of the same people that just took out. Take off, y'all. That took out Young Dolph. That took out Mo3. That same circle. I keep telling y'all these the same circle of people. Is this about the takeover? I don't know. But it seems like it. Let's keep going. Oh. Is this. Is this. So gay, yo. Right here. Is this so gay, yo. And Soldier Boy. Remember Soldier Boy. You know. He's the one that called, you know, get on social media, tease Young Dolph. Young Dolph get taken out right after it. And Goyeo is the one that put up that, made that song about walk him down. They walk Mo3 down. He's the one that put that out in the cover with the, you know, the dead presidents on it. You know, all these guys hang together. I, I've been saying this for years. I've been saying it for years. When you do your homework on people, then you don't have nothing to worry about if you, um, you know, call them out on their stuff. You don't have nothing to worry about because everything lines up so perfectly. Here's Yellow Beasy. His cousin is the one that's locked up right now. First cousin, y'all. He locked up for playing a part in taking Mo3 out on an expressway. Yes, Yellow Beasy. 
And word on the street is he have people in his family that's in the, at the police station. That's, you know, got jobs and have places, y'all. All of these guys are mob ties. Okay? Every last one of these guys right here. Let's keep going. Um, I, I've been telling y'all for the longest. And word on the street is there was a boxer. This is what I'm hearing. I don't know his name. I didn't forget it. But they're telling me that it was a boxer over there standing by takeoff too. That hangs out with um, mob ties. When takeoff was taken out. Now it wasn't this boxer. But it was another boxer. This is what I'm hearing. It makes sense because boxers are tied to Jay Prince. These two right here left town right before Mo 3 was taken out. And word on the street is they the ones that made the bag bigger so everybody could, you know, all the little people that's not celebrities would play their part on the expressway. Block off the expressway and, you know, record everything that was going on so that they could put a videotape together and have a watch party later, y'all. These people are demonic. They're sick. Okay, Charleston White just got up there and told everything. Start letting the cat out the bag, but I've been letting the cat out of the bag since 2020. I've been telling y'all about these guys. Let's keep going. Here we go. Soldier Boy in the studio with Yellow Beezy, Trap Boy Freddy's. Um, who's all there? Jay Prince Jr., Dope Boy Sauce. All these guys are connected, y'all. They're not just connected through each other. They are connected to through. The people that they know that they have ties and have places, polices, commissioners. And now we're adding a mayor to the to the team. Um, lawyers, judges, a lot of people are connected to these people, y'all. And this is one of the reasons why they get away with a lot of things that they do. So when somebody comes forth and tell me that um, Jay Prince is connected to the mayor, Mr. Sylvester Turner, then I believe it. I've been saying this ever since, <clears throat> excuse me, 2020. When I ran across all of these posts, you know, me and my sister, we sit up for nights and nights and nights and nights looking through all this mess. And lo and behold, I have so much stuff on these guys. It's ridiculous. So when I talk about stuff, that I'm seeing and all these people trying to join this Illuminati mess and this and that and that and this. And somebody brought it to my attention that Entertainment 300 has that eight symbol in it too. The, the zero zero is they got the eights together. Y'all, <laughs> the zeros together, they make it look like the eight symbol. Just like the symbol in um, Quavo's video with the eights that I was telling you all about. All that stuff, y'all. Same thing. Let's keep going. Um, same circle of people. You got Errol Spence that, you know, Mo3 allegedly, you know, made him cr have the accident. And it puts a dent in um, Jay Prince's pocket. That's what I heard. Because they say that Jay Prince, is, you know, represents this guy. I don't know. I, this is what I'm hearing. But Jay Prince has ties to this guy. And when Mo3 was chasing him in that car and he had the accident and he lied in the the media lied too. The media is in this stuff too, y'all. I'm going to show y'all some stuff on them. Um, the media lied too and said that he had been, you know, sippy sipping. But in reality, Mo3 was on his ass. That's why he crashed, y'all. And look who he hanging out with, Boosie. Boosie, Boosie. Don't never leave him out. Oh, he's definitely trying to be a part of the clique with the mob task people. All right? Now, here is um, John, John Riley Price. He is the commissioner of Dallas. And this is um, the bishop of Mount Rose Church, okay? And they're all buddy buddies. They're not just buddy buddies with these two. They're buddy buddies with an ex-police officer from Dallas, y'all. Another John, okay? And the first thing that he decided to invest in when he left the police station was a funeral home. You know why? Because uh, allegedly a lot of their boys is the ones that are putting people in there. They're bringing business to the people. They're supposed to be protecting the people. Okay? Did y'all hear me? Let me say it again. The police officers are investing in funeral homes, y'all. 
Okay. The churches are investing in funeral homes, y'all. Okay. They don't care about the crime going on. It puts money in their pockets. Do y'all understand now? Okay, let's keep going. And the one in the middle, that's trap. This is why he get away with so much. He can go to the zoo and grab a tigers and lions and bears, oh man, and he can get away with it. Not even get charged for the tiger, y'all. Okay? Let's keep going. Not to mention all the stuff that he's doing. And <laughs> is there a resemblance to y'all? Because we're on the street. He might be that baby's pappy. And if you look at their hair, it looks like they got the same, you know, kind of good hair, y'all. Okay? But right on the street, the commissioner of Dallas is that baby's pappy, y'all. That's why he get away with so much stuff and his friends and his goons. Okay? And all his connections. Now, that's not leave out. I call a Christian officer because she goes to the same church that Trap Boy and them grew up in. Okay? She also is, you know, mingling and tingling with the bishop. This is what I heard, okay? So I'm going to say allegedly. She's, she's, she, this is, she's been messing with him for years, the bishop of the church. And his sons is the ones that's running around committing the crimes. And she helps cover it up, okay, y'all? Allegedly, y'all. They, they, allegedly, they played a part in Mo3. You should go right here. Every time something happens to anybody of Trap Boy Freddy and them ops, she show up and allegedly, you know, evidence get moved. Allegedly. This is what I heard, y'all. And she covers up for these two on the end. Did she go in church with a dress on? Oh, y'all, I done been through it. The, the female in the middle, she told me I don't know who I'm messing with. Her family, you know, you don't know. My family run Dallas. You, you don't know you messing with it. So when people is running on a expressway for their lives, this is why. And they get away with it. Anybody could have got hit up on that expressway. Innocent people coming into town, leaving town, whatever. And both three's case has just got brushed under the rug somewhat. That's what they think. But it's a lot going on under <laughs> behind closed doors with Mo 3's case. We have to keep it alive, y'all. They all go to the same family. He is nice, happy family. But allegedly, they're out here causing all kind of chaos in the people and their family members. Okay, y'all? Let's keep going. This is Trap and his sister. Okay, she's been locked up for a while, all right? And just to show you all that, you know, this is all mob ties, that all this is a connection. I want you to see who um, sent a message that they should free the queen, okay? Um, it says, liked by Dr. Rose. Now, I want y'all to go back, and if y'all think I'm lying, go check it out. Right after Mo3 got hit up on the expressway, the very next day, Dr. Rose got hit up on the expressway. Now, he's a dentist slash rapper. Why did he get hit up right after Mo3? Is it because uh, they are all connected? All of these people is mob tash, y'all. Every last one of them. Okay? Now, let's keep going because y'all going to be surprised who's in the next post sending Trap Boy Freddy's sister um, free the queen. Okay, a post. All right, here's Trap Boy Freddy. You won't never need a ninja. As long as I'm breathing. Happy birthday, big sis. Can't wait till they free you, baby girl. 15 years for a violation, just something you didn't deserve. Okay, and if she had to do this time, you best believe she deserved it because they would have let her walk. But it all... <laughs> She must have been on camera and all kind of stuff had been pointing her way for her to do this time. Because she's plugged. Now look who's under there. Trouble Man 31. Ain't that T.I.? Y'all? Ain't that T.I.? T.I. says free the queen. Look who else is under here, y'all. Dr. Rose, the one who got hit up right after Mo3 got hit up. The next day. All these people are tied together. Why can't the police and the FBI... um? see all of these connections i have no idea or is that or do that y'all because we've been everything been on the kind of hush hush lately about mo3 case so is they putting these pieces together 
And lo and behold, is that big CEO, Big 30? Is that who is from Memphis? CMG? I keep telling y'all all these people are tied together. They've been tied. Murder after murder after murder after murder. They're all tied. Okay? Now, I want y'all to pay attention to this chain. This is the day of Mo3 getting ran down on the expressway. Trap is in a car with allegedly his brother Smurf. Okay? As you can see, he has on one chain, y'all. Okay? His brother goes to get out the car and lo and behold, I guess they discussed that. Take your chain off just in case something happened and you drop it because that's going to be some evidence on the expressway. Okay, because he's allegedly the person that jumped off the, le the, the expressway thinking that he was in some kind of karate movie or something, y'all. Okay, and he hurt his leg because he hit at Mo3 too. Okay, look at the chain he has on, the Smurf chain. See the Smurf chain? And remember, there were rumors coming out saying that allegedly he was hit up in Dallas. But he wasn't probably really hit up. He had hurt his leg because he had jumped off the expressway thing. You know, and it's not that far to jump. It's just because everybody was walking up to the expressway to see Mo3 on the expressway. Um, it's not far to jump. But was this the lie they put out so that, that he can hide out and say that if they see him hopping or whatever, they can pretend that he was hit up and he really wasn't? He was um hopping because he jumped. See how the lies get to just surfing around so they can cover up what's really going on. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all. Look at this chain. Now look at, look who has on his chain now on the expressway. He takes his chain off and trap is the biggest trick out here. He tells on everybody. When DJ got back in the car on the expressway, he turned the camera to DJ to let everybody know that the job was done. That Mo3 was taken out and DJ wipes his nose. Now, why in the world did Trap, knowing that he was recording himself, because he's boasting about Mo3 being taken out and everything, he puts on Smurf's chain. He didn't have to put Smurf's chain on. He could have put it in the glove department or something like that. To let everybody know, you know, not even think that Smurf was on that expressway. But he put it on anyway, because he figured that, I don't care, it's in y'all face. And, that, and what you gonna do about it? Because he is so plugged with the commissioners and everybody that he feel he can do what he want. And look at Mo 3's manager. Y'all see the resemblance? Word on the street is they're cousins. They're some kin folks, y'all. This is why everybody pointing the finger at Rain Man because they saying he helped set up his own artists. And for, lo for the love of me, why would anybody want to sign with him? Because this was all a setup. They moved Mo3 in the building with Arrow Spence just so they could keep an eye on Mo3 when he's leaving out and coming in. With Kahi in and everything so they could tell people. If this ain't sick, I don't know what it is, y'all. Let's keep going. This the accident, y'all. When he was in the accident and Mo3 was chasing him. So this ties him to trap. This ties this guy right here, Arrow Spence, to Mo3's manager. This ties this guy right here to... Lo and behold, y'all, J. Prince Jr. Because he's in the boxing world. Okay, y'all? I told you I've been watching these guys for a very long time. Okay? Now, like I said, word on the street is, they're saying that a boxer was at that birthday party, too. Not this one. Another boxer. And they're saying that he was standing over there by takeoff, too. Okay, y'all? That's what I heard. He was at that party. Now, remember that video when I showed you all about going bad with Meek Mill and Drake them? And I showed y'all these are the elites. This the whole crew together. They made a video letting everybody know they're the elites. And don't mess with the elites, y'all. Okay? Now, this is another one that's a part of the elites that I didn't put his picture up there. But I, 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 something told me to put it in there today. Switch speaks, y'all. Alicia Keys. I mean, Alicia. Yeah, Alicia Keys husband. They plug too. They allegedly is part of the elites in the Illuminati mess too, y'all. Okay? Both of them are from New York. And the funny part about this is Alicia Keys is from a place called Hell's Kitchen, New York. <laughs> y'all, you can't make this stuff up. Hell's Kitchen, New York. 
This is where she from. This is where she was born, y'all. Her husband was born in the Bronx, New York. Okay? Here they go. Here the elites. And, and, and like I told y'all, you know, T.I. Boosie, they've been jumping on social media to call themselves sending out their condolences. They don't care. These, they boys. They don't care. They could care less what happened to take off. They probably all knew about it, to be honest, because they don't hold nothing from each other. <laughs> when they say the vow of silence, they not playing. But as you can see, Look at Mr. Suicide Beats in here too, okay? He kind of low-key with his stuff. You don't hear too much about him, but he's still plugged. And he's not to be trusted by people, allegedly, because this is what he's a part of, y'all. It's a whole bunch of them, all together. Now, remember a long time ago when I started doing the Mo3 case and Alicia Keys came to Dallas and they taking pictures with her? I want y'all to look at the female that's in the picture. This is the female that protects the police officer. She protects, you know, um, Yellow Beezy. Oh, she be on Yellow Beezy. And I'm wondering if she's some kid on Yellow Beezy. Because every time he goes somewhere to come in town, whatever, she makes sure that she is on her job to make sure nobody touches Yellow Beezy. Y'all. Okay? Um, This police officer right here that's standing next to the, the police woman. The light-skinned one to the left. This guy right here is the ex-police officer that I told y'all about that owns a funeral home now. <laughs> you go from protecting the people to you getting paid off of the people that's getting taken out. Make it make sense, y'all. Okay? So when they say that Mr. Sylvester Turner is plugged with Jay Prince now, I believe it. I've been telling y'all this for years. I've been telling y'all this for years. This is why this man right here, um, Kiwan White, that's locked up for allegedly being the hitter that chased Mo3 on the expressway. One of them, okay? Because it was more than one chasing Mo3 on the expressway. Okay? And if you go back to that picture of, of, of Smurf, he looks like he's run, he runs track too. They made sure they get guys that ran track to chase me, Mo3 down. Devin, um, Kiwan White. He was he ran track in school. Um, Smurf looked like he ran running track on that picture I just showed y'all with his chain on. Um, Kenny Baby Boy he ran track and he came into town just to be a part of Mo Three being taken out on the expressway. Now who do you see in the front of this? This video right here, Yellow Beezy. So why is Kiwan White locked up, which is one of Yellow Beezy boys? Okay. And Yellow Beezy cousin is locked up, okay, which is Yellow Beezy cousin. And he's not locked up when he was allegedly the person that put the bag on Mo3. You know why? Because they cover it up, y'all. They cover it up. It covers it up. They also say this could have been Hot Boy West on the expressway who signed with Gucci Mane. The one who's trying to, you know, send people off to go to Houston right now so they can... You know, he can offer up a sacrifice, so he won't be sacrificed, allegedly, y'all. Okay? Y'all pay attention to what's going on. This is Kenny Baby Boy right here. Notice he got the no number 23 Jordan shirt on. Okay? <laughs> oh, Lord. This guy right here was on the expressway, too. Recording and everything. Talking. He... And I don't know why they hauled his ass off to Dallas to um for questioning or something. Why was you on the expressway? Why was you in town? Why was you doing a video with Mo3 and the next day you was on the expressway with Mo3? Why ain't none of these questions coming out? And even though they got all these dirty cops and commissioners and all ex-police ex officers protecting their tail, some still riding Something is still riding, Kenny Baby Boy, because lo and behold, look at him now trying to get baptized. Them ghosts is riding his ass like that Beyonce was riding that horse in for the usher in something. They riding them, y'all. All the karma that he has done and helping take out Mo3 and all this stuff, they riding him. And soon as he goes and calls himself, you know, now you want to run to God after you done took lives. Now, Mo3 manager is saying, this is my brother. I'm going to support him. You've been supporting him. This ain't nothing new. We've been knowing this. 
Okay, now let's get to Dolph, y'all. Let's get to Dolph. Ain't this, um, what is her position in Dallas? No, Memphis. I think she is the chief. This is the ch new chief. Is, th is this the chief? I think this is the chief. And this is the judge, y'all, of Memphis. And I want y'all to pay attention to what she posted. She says, while y'all are sleeping, we are strat strategizing. We are taking back our city. Now, this would be a nice thing for her to post if it was true. But how the hell are you strategizing when you are a judge and this woman right here next to you is a high-ranking police officer and you're strategizing with known criminals? People that's out here taking people out, putting bags on them, running amok. This is what she put on here. I can't, I can't take him nowhere without paparazzi taking over. My son, black youngster. Is this her son? Is this why he's protected? Is this why he's not locked up for Young Dolph? The whole setup of Young Dolph? Ask yourself this question, y'all. This is why so many people are getting away with the things that they are getting away with. This is why. This is why you can put a bag on somebody and let loose 22 hits in them. And none of the people that's supposed to be locked up are locked up. They're out here enjoying their life, going to the White House and all kind of stuff. So, are y'all surprised that Jay Prince has ties to the mayor? He probably got ties to the whole damn police station. <laughs> Did you hear the police say, we're going to have a meeting next week with some rappers? What other rappers are in Houston that he's going to have a meeting with other than Jay Prince now? They're the ones with the record labels. So, you about to go have a meeting with the people that actually did it and set up the play? Just like they set up the play with Dolph. Just like they set up the play with Mo3. She says, FaceTiming my son trying to strategize how we are going to save the lives of our youth. We need you. It takes more than a village. You need. Let me, let me get this straight. You need black youngster to help you save the lives of the youth when he's running around here allegedly taking lives and putting bags on people and having them set up. This is what the judge is saying. A judge, y'all. Okay. So when he does a video after Dolph is taken out and he got the shovel and he is burying his ops and standing in front of the name of Thornton, I guess this is a part of helping clean up the streets and take back their city. I guess, y'all. Make it make sense, y'all, because it don't make no sense to me. Now, this is one of the females that was the first ones on the scene. She was the first one recording, talking about uh, Dolph, Dolph, Dolph gone, y'all. They saying Dolph gone. They ain't saying Dolph, Dolph gone, you saying it. Who told you Dolph was gone if you didn't go up to the door and was in there talking to the Makitas? All of this was set up, y'all. Then we find out later that, you know, her name is Queen Beasy. And she is tied to all of the hitters. She was put there for a reason. To make sure Dolph was gone. She was the one that reported it, y'all. Dolph gone now, y'all. They got him. Ring a bell? Didn't they seem like they was checking his head to make sure he was gone to take off? I'm just saying, y'all. This is another female that posted. Now, look, I, I cannot get past the fact that she looks so much like this girl over here that was with Nipsey Hussle that took the last picture. With Nipsey Hussle. The same female, she looked like the same female, just an upgrade. Like, she got rewarded for being taken the last picture with Nipsey Hussle. And then she upgraded and moved to Dallas. And, I mean Memphis and then she here she go again taking the last picture this is what it looked like but she that might not be the same person but it looks so damn much alike like they twins you can't tell can you she posted she was the last person took a picture with Dolph 
she was the last one. And I'm not trying to be funny, but that person that's over there sitting at that table, you can't see that person real good. But I swear to God, if, you know, if somebody asks me who that person is, I get the vibes of um, your Gotti's lawyer. Look like he's sitting at that table over there eating, watching. That's what it looked like, y'all, but I don't know. He looked like him. Same head, hairstyle, all that. Look just like the guy that's the lawyer picture. I just showed y'all of um, it. Yo Gotti, to be honest. How did she know that that was the last picture? And y'all look at the colors. Dolph is in yellow and light blue pants. And they just walked, take off down with the same colors on, y'all. A little bit colder, so they got on a hoodie. Same colors, y'all. Is there a connection? Ask yourself this question. And what are the odds of the person that jumps on social media and says that she took the last picture with young Dolph? Now, how does she know that Dolph didn't leave that, that restaurant and go take some more pictures that night or go hang out earlier that morning and take some pictures? How does she not know that? But she said, we took, I took the last picture with Dolph. Before his demise. This is what she said. At her own mouth. And she got mad because everybody started talking about what she said. Okay. Talking about she going to sue somebody. Girl, bye. <laughs> Girl, bye. Because <laughs> you said it out your own mouth. And we just reported it. This is what she said. I'm going to get my lawyer. Go get it. Go get her, whoever it is. Go get him. What are the odds of her and her boyfriend... Being the last one that took a picture with Dolph the night before he was taken out. And then, man, you, Dolph was taken out in the same clothes he had on the night before. What are the odds of her boyfriend being somebody that take people against their will? That's what he got locked up for. Now, they say they dropped the charges or something, but still. I told you, if you got judges and stuff in your pocket, stuff gets hidden. Okay, y'all? What's the odds of him being there the night before Dolph is taken out? And people are saying Dolph was taken. That's why he had on the same clothes. Y'all see the report? This guy known for taking people. This is a very wicked world we're living in, y'all. And, you know, I know a lot of celebrity, you know, a lot of fans of celebrities. They want to think that people that they follow and love and listen to their music faithfully they think they want to have some con type of connection to them and feel like this person would not do this and this person would not do that but let's just let's look at the history out of everybody that was working that week while they were in town key Glock was the only one sitting back chilling everybody else was doing turkey drives everything he acted as if he was waiting on the call key Glock. and now who's the man He's running around acting like he Dolph now. Getting rich too, y'all. Getting rich. He couldn't do it by himself. He got close to Dolph, learned all his stuff, and all of a sudden, lo and behold, now he is the man, y'all. It's the reason that people do the things that they do. This is the day that Dolph was taken out, and she's smiling as if they finally got him. They tried two times, but we got them. We, we were the ones that made this happen. This is how it looks, the smile on her face. And she jumped on social media. Okay? This is Raven from the Makitas where Dolph was taken out at. She jumped on social media and said that they almost had an accident when they heard about what happened to Dolph. She, she started crying, her and her mother, Mama Hill, Mama Cookie Hill. We was, we was so upset. She had to grab the stern wheel. We, I was crying. Do she look like she crying, y'all? Or do she look like she's smiling? That she about to take a step up that ladder because they made it happen. Because Dolph loves cookies. Every time he comes into town, he comes here to get some cookies, y'all. It was like she was sending out a roll call to all his ops. Every time Dolph come in town, y'all, he comes right here. Every single time. He don't miss a beat. If anybody wants to take Dolph out, all they had to do was go right around the cookie shop. Because she told it. 
And who is her best supporter? Dolph's baby mama, y'all. Dolph's baby mama is the best supporter that she has. And every time this little girl try to touch her in the public, she don't even want to take her hands out of her pocket to hold that baby hand. She's more concerned of making money and going to the White House now. She's famous. <laughs> she ain't done shit, but she's famous. Lord have mercy. Now, let's get to the paperwork party. Mr. Um, What's his name? Countdown. Countdown John. This is why I told you they got so many people in their pockets. It's ridiculous. Now, this is the news lady, okay, that allegedly is in this guy's pocket. This guy was threatening me when I started doing the Mo3 case. He started threatening me. That he was going to find me and all this stuff. And then now he has a page called himself trying to, you know, um, break cases and everything. And everybody sitting back believing this guy. He got mad at Mo3's manager. And he told everything on Mo3's manager. That he was the one that helped set up Mo3. All this stuff. He got mad and told the whole play. And then the next Next minute, the next day, he jumped on there and put on a fake cast on his arm and everything, y'all. And he retracted the whole statement and said that he was going to Mexico. Same place where, you know, Errol Spence and Yellow Beezy went <clears throat> right before Mo3 was taken out. Went to the same place. You know why he went to the same place? Or lad to say he was going to the same place? Because they all know the same people. Okay, y'all? And um, he threatened me. He sent me pictures that he was connected to the newspaper. And y'all wonder why when Dolph was taken out, they were doing more advertising for the people, the Makitas, than they was reporting that Dolph was taken out. And people wonder why the police you know people people the community don't want to talk to the police they'd rather talk to bloggers because there's so many connections going on y'all so many connections and he used this woman's picture and he also told me that this woman right here is on speed dial that when something happens you know she gets the report first because she knows um Rainwater now. My three's manager now. He's the, and y'all notice. Y'all look it up for yourself. Every time something happens, fake or real, my three's manager is the one that calls the po he calls the police or he calls the news people. So it made sense when the countdown guy told me that, you know, she's on speed dial. He didn't set up a page, he's called himself talking about now. He's talking, he's called himself covering the, the, the J Prince thing too. He's connected to them too. So don't believe nothing that's coming out of his mouth because he's plugged with these people. And if y'all send him information, it's probably going to go straight to J Prince. And I'm just being completely honest with you all. This guy is a snake. He used a bunch of people, taking money out of a lot of people's pockets. He lied and said that he was collecting money for Young Dog family. And y'all know Young Dog family don't need nothing. All that money that he left them, they don't need nothing. But he said he was collecting money from the fans in Memphis and that he was going to give it to them. He didn't. He went around and he went and bought cars and toys, y'all. This is what he did with the money, y'all. And people are still going over there on his page listening to this dummy. I, I, You know, I can't make this up. If I hadn't been doing homework on all these people for years, I wouldn't even... Cause if somebody told me this, I wouldn't even believe it. But the fact that I know this and got all this proof. Lord, 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 y'all. If y'all can't find the video, go find, uh, um, you know, some of the countdown um, videos or whatever. You'll find it in my, in, my, in my archive. Go look for it. Okay? This guy's a snake. He, he's a con artist. He's a snake. And he's involved with the, the same circle of people. Paperwork party. And he put this woman on blast and told everybody that she's a part of the elites. This is what he said and sent me all the pictures. This is what he did. Okay. 
um, not only is he plugged with um, her, he's plugged with this one right here, too. And he a news reporter, y'all. Roland Martin. That acts as if that he loves his people. The word on the street is he's a part of the elites, too, y'all. He's a pawn. Okay? And he sent... Paperwork Party sent me these pictures. And when he sent me all these pictures, he told me his connections that he had in Dallas. And that if I don't stop talking about Trap and Yellow and Wretched and um, and don't let me leave nobody out now. Rainwater and them. He said, oh, don't forget Sco too. Say no to Sco. He said, if I do not stop reporting on these people. Yellow Beezy and Trash and Tra Trap Boy Freddy, all of these people, that he was coming for me. Paperwork party. Same people that everybody's over there listening to his lies. This is the guy behind the paperwork party page right here. Okay, y'all? He's a complete idiot. Let's keep going. Now, they report stuff they want to report, and then the stuff they don't want to report, they don't. Now, this is the um, ex-police officer in Dallas, y'all, that now owns a funeral home that's plugged with the media, plugged with the police, plugged with the, the street associates, all that stuff. His wife got sloppy, toe up, wasted, and she went and ran down somebody. Okay, y'all? And they didn't even report it. The police didn't want to report it. They didn't report it on the news. They hid it. They put up stuff they want to put up, and then some stuff they don't. She looks so sweet and innocent, y'all. Lord have mercy. She get a drink on, y'all. And it covers up what she does. Now, I think somebody got taken out. Yes, somebody did. Somebody passed away from her. Her little escapade, y'all. All right? And they try to brush it under the rug. The news people didn't want to report it. The newspapers didn't want to report it. They report what they want. And what they don't want to report, they don't. They're all connected. So when they say that this guy right here is connected to this guy right here, I believe it. Okay, y'all? Anyway, y'all, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thank you all so much for watching. Peace.